Hello everyone, my name is Aryan Kundalia and today I would be teaching area and perimeter. So the this is the part one of the video. So beginning off with the area part. So the area is nothing but it is the region bounded by the shape or the space which is covered by the figure. So if we take an example like if you have two objects of the similar shape but it is not necessary that their area will be equal unless and until the dimensions are same of both the shapes. So if there is a rectangular box of length L1 and L2 and breadth as B1 and B2 so the areas um, A1 and A2 will only be equal if L1 is equal to L2 and B1 is equal to B2. So moving on to the perimeter part. Perimeter of the part is basically the uh, distance covered on the outline of the shape. So if the circle is made of the metal wire of length L, then the same wire can be used to construct a square till the sides are equal in length. Okay. So I would discuss some of the formulas for different shapes for area and perimeters. So beginning off with the rectangular part. So rectangular is a shape with opposite sides equal and all angles are equal to 90 degrees. So the perimeter of the rectangular is given by 2 into A plus B and the area is given by A into B where A and B are the length and width of the rectangular. Length and width of the rectangle. So moving on to the square part. A square is a figure of shape in which all the four sides are equal and all the angles of the and all the angles are equal to 90 degrees. So all the sides are equal in a square while in rectangular only opposite sides are equal. Okay, so the area is area of the square is basically the space occupied by the square in a 2D plane and the perimeter is the distance which is covered on the outer line which is given by 4A and area is given by A square where A is the length of the side of the square as we can see. This is the side of the square so A is the length of the side of the square. Moving on to the triangular part. So triangle has three sides irrespective of the kind of uh, kind of triangle whether it's an isosceles or an equivalent ring uh, it uh, will be equal to the sum of the perimeter will be equal to the length of all the three sides so the area of the triangle is given by half into base into height this is the base and this will be the height okay and the perimeter is given by the a plus b plus c where a b and c are the three different sides one two and three different sides of the triangle so moving on towards the circle part the circle is uh, area of the circle is basically a region occupied by it in this plane as we can see. So circumference is given by 2 pi r where r is the radius and area of the circle is given by pi r square where r is the radius. Okay. So moving on towards the parallelogram part. So in a parallelogram as we can see the b is the base of the parallelogram and height is the h is the height of the parallelogram. So it is basically given by the formula perimeter is given by 2 into b into h where b and h are the base and the height of the parallelogram and area is given by base into height. So I hope the all the formulas are clear. Thank you.